Hello, Amanda. Hello, Hello. Rory. <laughs> Hi, Rory. Hello. <laughs> oh, I love that plane you have in your hand. I, I, it's very tasty, I can see. Very good. Mm -hmm. Who needs vegetables when you have airplanes? Fantastic. And I can see someone listening to music behind you. Can you say hello? No. <laughs> no. Not today. Like my time. <laughs> oh, Amanda. Do you know, I was just thinking, I've, I've seen you taking walks. Yes. And I thought, you know what, I want to ask Amanda how she is. How are you coping being a mom? in this very what word do you want to use for it challenging uncertain but, yeah, challenging is a good word for it <laughs> um, it's definitely challenging it has its moments um there's probably a lot of different words that you could use to sum up this kind of time where we're home and the pandemic um it's been exciting at times it's been fun at times it's okay. been exhausting it's been challenging um there's been a lot of tears and a lot of laughter Fantastic. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a big mixture of uh of moments while we're at home hmm. that's good to know what what makes it possible how do you cope how, what what makes it worth your while what gives you the strength for the times when it, it, it's challenging or depressing or full of you know what gives you the strength yeah. a lot of different things to be fair mm -hmm. um parenting any time is always it's always a tough job it's always a job where you're balancing a lot of different fleets at the same time yes. and and before a pandemic i would have told you the same thing we have our days where we laugh and we have our days where we cry yeah. <laughs> um, so i think there's a lot of different things that we do to help us cope and uh but the biggest thing really is the relationship that i have with god uh without that i don't actually know how we would be coping right now <laughs> oh. being able to have a, a faith in him and peace from god uh, really gets us through the day a lot of the time but it's also about little practical things you know it's it's really hard to think as a parent when you when you look at things on social media or you see other parents you see you see only a snapshot of what happens in other people's lives and it's really easy right. to compare yourself to the things that you see online of of what you might think as the perfect parent of oh look at what they're doing right now or look at what they're doing right now yeah and i'm sitting at home at three o'clock in my pajamas not having had any breakfast yet <laughs> um, so it can it can be really tough to compare and think about it like that but it helps me to remember that you know what there really is no such thing as a perfect parent and and those really are snapshots and and i'm the same you know I like to share the good things that happen. I like to put the pictures up on Facebook of the fun times that we have. It's a lot harder to put up the pictures of the times when you've not slept and you're tired and you're grumpy and you're not the most patient parent that you'd like to be. Those are a lot more hard and a lot more vulnerable to be able to share with people. But it is the truth and I think everybody goes through times for that and it's just a bit harder when you don't have you know all the groups that you might be going to all the other parents times to catch up where you can chat about these things mm -hmm. um and so that makes it really difficult and can feel really lonely yeah okay but with having a relationship with god and being able to bring that to god and say look today is a hard day mm -hmm. i think that god understands that and and he accepts me for that and uh, and i can change my burden that's really heavy for that day for his burden that's light and uh, and that really helps us get through thank you thank you amanda that is really encouraging that's that's a good place to start and um a lot of us would really love to do the same you know sometimes it's difficult but hearing it from someone who is doing it it makes it easier you know to know that 
at this time we can have hope there is hope especially yeah, when it's a trust everyday situation and and i'm no way am i perfect at this there's a lot of times where i don't bring things to god and i end up wallowing and being upset but it's it's having that reminder and, and just little things like taking part in the in the church alpha group has really helped me to kind of rekindle that um that love for prayer and for for having time to read my bible and things like that just just little things like in the morning when I'm trying to get the boys ready and get their breakfast done and sitting in the kitchen, I've just been putting on my um, audio Bible in the background. And, and I've really found just in the last week and a half or so of doing that, having that wee 20 minutes where I'm listening to that while I'm making the third round of toast and <laughs> trying to attempt to have a cup of tea. <laughs> um, it's really made a huge difference to my day because it started my day in a much more positive, uh, positive note and uh, and helps me to really treasure the the moments that that we do have and trying to focus on the times when things are really fun and we have good moments more than the times when everyone in the house is screaming and crying including me and big james <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you so much amanda thank you thank you for sharing this with us you know and it's encouraging because w w what you said about alpha and then your your time with uh, bible in one year would you know that encourages the church to try and do a little more and to support people that would need it and some people might also gain from searching out bible in one year and joining you mm -hmm. in, in having that time would you please uh, share a picture of you being a super mom the one i see you doing every time you're going you go out for work or for your works, yeah. the works you yeah. do in the park and so on. I will, I will say, I will caveat this with, I really am not a super mum. This is really lazy parenting on my point because it means James can't run away from me. Well, I see <laughs> super mum. But this is our, this is our way of going out for walks every day now. Oh, is fantastic. Team exercise. I've got James strapped to my back and Rory strapped to my front. <laughs> and it means that I can go out and get some fresh air without having to worry about where my children are and what they're doing because they're stuck to me. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for sharing and thank you for your time. And thank you, Rory, for your time. And thank you, Jane. Yeah, you did a good job. Yeah. Bye, Rory. Oh, that's a beautiful smile. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.